babies, thank you so beautiful. Hello, welcome to my channel. These are my two rabbits. This one's Daisy and this is Clover. And in today's video, I wanted to show you how I groom my rabbits, how I care for them, how I cut their nails and how I brush them and how I give them a body exam. So if you're thinking about uh, having a rabbit as a pet, I already have one and want to learn a little bit more of how to care for a rabbit, well then this video is for you. So stay tuned, we'll be starting in a few moments. So the first thing that I do is I give my rabbit an overall checkup. What I do first is I look at the nose, look for any discharge, her nose looks pretty clean, then I move on to the eyes and what I'm looking for is any discharge, any redness. You can just lift up the little lids and look at the white parts. It doesn't hurt, the skin moves and it looks pretty nice and clean. I don't see any cataracts. Now she does have half a blue eye at the bottom and brown on the top so that's normal for her. So I check both eyes and see if there's any discharge or redness. And then what I check is the ears. I look at them all over and make sure there's no growth or any lumps or bumps on the actual ear. And then I look at the inside. So there should be nothing inside the ear. They look nice and clean and pink. And then what I do is I just kind of run my hands over her just like you're petting her. And you can do this while you pet your rabbit and you feel if there's any lumps, lumps or bumps. She feels nice and smooth, nothing in the fur, any bugs or fleas or ticks. You want to look for them as well. So you can just kind of move the hair and you can see the skin. My bunnies are indoor rabbits so hopefully they don't have any bugs. But I do have dogs and they go outside but they're on treatment, so she looks pretty clean. I don't think there's any bugs on her. And then what I do is I kind of just lift her up, put a little bum on the ground, and I check underneath. Now Daisy's a pretty clean rabbit. She's not messy like my male. My male has health problems though, but um, you want to check everywhere, the feet, any problems, any cuts or anything like that. Nice to clean tail and um, rabbits do get sand glands. They get sand glands on the side of their genitals here and sometimes they need to be removed. They really really smell and sometimes they can get impacted in there. But um, Daisy doesn't have any. She never really had a problem. I've never even had to remove them. Just each bunny is different and some will need it, some, some won't. And you want to take the pads because they can get um, you know, hair loss here and their, their bottom of their feet can get all red and sore. But Daisy's feet are okay. I think this one's, she's got a little spot there, but it's nothing to worry about. She's okay. And now I can see her nails. Um, they're long and they need a, a trimming. And then also you just wanna check and actually when you can feel her underneath, you can feel for lumps. If you know what you're doing, you can just feel. If you feel anything unusual, I watch my vet do it so I kind of learn from my vet. If I feel anything unusual, off to the vet she goes. Right girl? And while she's laying down, you can kind of just pet them and you can check the tail. They don't like their tails being touched, but you can check it. Just don't pull at it or anything, just move the fur. Oh, a cute little tail. And that one looks good. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is give her a brush. Now I like this uh, brush, it's a rubber brush called the Zoom Groom. And I find it works best out of all the tools that I have. Um, the Zoom Groom and my fingers. Now Daisy, she's not shedding too much. She's a short haired bunny, so long haired bunnies need a different um, kind of a grooming. You know, some need to be clipped or scissored. They get matted and they're brushed differently. So this is just a short haired bunny, how I do them. I use the, the Zoom Groom and I just basically go through her coat like this and if she was shedding, like there's some hair flying, you can see, but it's, 
it's nothing until uh, a few months from now, she'll be all full of hair. But sometimes you can just go in round circles as well. Or you can go reverse. See all the hair? I know it's not a lot. It'll get worse in, the, in a little while. I kind of like to do it this way because all the hair will go downward. And you can wear a mask. And I also I have a, a hair proof jacket on because you will get full of hair when you brush your bunny, you'll see. But I'm a dog groomer, so this is my actually grooming jacket to repel hair. So I always wear that when I groom my rabbits. So that's what I'll do. I'll just go through her coat like this. So let's give you a little brushing, okay? So after I use the Zoom Groom, I just use my hands and I can actually even just pluck it out. And another thing that you can use that I like a lot is a chamois. Now I wet this and I wrung it out so it's just damp. So it's really good because that way the hair stays in here and it really shines up their coat. It's just a little bit damp. And you know, we shouldn't really wash a rabbit unless you need to. Now I do wash uh, my male rabbit, Clover. I just wash his, um, his private areas because he has a problem or he's always filthy. So I do have to wash that area. And you don't really need to wash them because if you do it, their hair is very dense. They just take a very, very long time to dry and they stress easy. You know, some rabbits can even die if you put them in the water if they're not, if you know, they're terrified, they can die from being terrified. And um, they're pretty clean. Unless they're dirty, they can wash their feet or their their bum, their tail. But look at her, she's nice and clean. All right, and what I do last is I trim the nails. Now Daisy's a little bit nervous with her nail trimming. So what I like to do actually, sometimes I do it while she's sitting down like this, but she can jump, so she might jump. So I, I like to sit her down like for the front nails and actually I can just see them from here to cut them. Now with my other bunny, I'll show you close up. No, she's not gonna let me, she just pulled away. So I'm gonna do a little bit easier way for her. What I do is I just roll her over. Now I never really put a bunny, you know, right on the back. She's just sitting up and now I can see her nails. I have to do it quickly because she will struggle and maybe get away. And you need some nail clippers. You can use cat nail clippers or small dog nail clippers. Now I'm very experienced using the dog nail clippers and I like them so I'll use those. But if you're not experienced, you can get the smaller ones and the nail goes right in the, the little opening here. So I'll use this on the back nail. Sometimes the nails are so thick that, um, oh that worked, that these clippers can hurt your fingers because you have to push so hard. What a good girl you are. Yes, you are. There, so that didn't take long. Now I'll do the other back foot. She might start flipping out a little bit. It's okay, girl. She's a pretty girl. I know you're getting itchy. Okay, I just let her hold her foot out. I'm using my other clippers because I find they're easier for me. Now her nails are white. I can see where the quick is. So you want to cut, um, you know, below the quick. You don't want to cut above the quick. And I'll show you a close up with my other bunny. But this is how I trim her nails. She seems uh, okay now. She's starting to curl her feet. Don't curl your feet, silly girl. Let me get her in a better position a little bit. So you can hold her to the side. Now I got her her feet like this. And she tries each way to get to get away from me. Now, if you have a really wild, uncontrollable bunny, you're gonna need help. 
What a good kid you are. And they do have a dew claw. Whoopsie. Oh, it's okay. I know. She hates her dew claw um, being touched. So don't be surprised if you see her jump. It's normal. And I'm just cutting below the quick because I really don't want them to bleed and it does cause pain. That dew claw is short enough. I'm not going to cut it. Now we're just going to look at this one. Now you don't want to grab a rabbit's foot and pull it out. That hurts. You have to leave them where she naturally will hang them. So when I get the dew claw, this one on the other side, see on this side, I would go on the opposite side. So since I want to get this dew claw, I go on this side. But Sometimes these dew claws break off and this one is short enough. Thick, just a tad. That's all you need. There you go, so there's Daisy. All done and groomed, so I will get Clover and show you. Right, so here's Clover. So I'm not gonna go through the exam and then the brushing and all that since we already saw that. What I want to do is just show you a close up of cutting his nails. Hopefully he'll stay still. And he's the one with the dirty bomb you see that now this is just stained I actually have to wash him every morning I just wash his little this area and I wash the feet especially the back feet in here and that so if you want to see a video on how I wash him just let me know and um, I can make that for you and also if you want a video of how to clean the sink glands I usually do that when I do the bum wash so I will include that as well if he needs it because sometimes he doesn't have any there but usually when I wash him I get that out. So I'm going to show you a close-up on trimming uh, Clover's nails. Come here Clover, where are you going? Alright, so I got Clover here. He's got long, long daggers. And you can see the white part and the pink part. The pink part's the, the blood vessel, the quick. So you want to cut in front of that. You don't want to go beyond it. And don't cut right near it because that can also bleed as well. So I just cut just enough and I leave a little bit of white on there just to be safe because if you get close to that the rabbit can feel that rabbits are very sensitive and they'll kick come here kick <laughs> and possibly can kick you in the face too they'll kick and, and get away and hurt themselves so there's one foot oh, this nail's short have to move the hair out of the way so you can see the pink section and the white section so you want to just cut the white section just like that you're curling your paws don't curl your paws now if only he holds his, his paws like this I can see them so it's kind of more difficult to do the front because they do curl their nails. Okay, since he's struggling a lot to do the front nails and he's curling his feet, I just um, put him on the table here. Let him lay naturally. He lays down. Just give him a few pets. And he kind of relaxes a little bit more. So I do them from this way. That's a lot easier. Hey, you're curling your little feet. Yeah. I'll get the dew cloth on the other side. There. Let's see if I can get this foot from here. Oh yeah, nails are long. So you can probably see that. Just cutting below the quick. What a good boy. Okay, now for the dew claws. Usually I can face them actually away from me this way. And I can see if I can see the dew claws, but there he's reaching up. You see him there. I got one. Oh, yeah, I see it. Okay, okay, there we go. I want a good bunny. Yes, 
So I want to thank you very much for watching and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the bell icon there that way you'll get notified of my ne next upload. If you have any questions or any things you'd like to see with my rabbits or any other of my pets, uh, let me know down below in the comments and we will see you in the next video. Bye!